Nice to meet you. My name's Laura. I haven't been to one of these things before, so I'm sorry if I'm not very good. <laughs> I, I suppose you'd like to know something about me. Um, I'm a Gemini. I like cats and reading and Doctor Who. <laughs> I don't know what you think, but the main problem with the new series well, not really a problem, more of a, an issue, is that the Doctor's only got 13 lives. Well, if we have a new Doctor every year, that means we've only got two years left. It's taken us years to get it back on the TV, and I'm just concerned that we may not have very much of the new programme. It's got so much to offer, you see. Everything that's ever happened to the Doctor has happened to us in some form or another. Not exactly, of course. <laughs> we haven't been invaded by aliens or anything. <laughs> but the Doctor's life, oh, it's like a microspasm of our world. There was this one episode, you see, called Vengeance on Varos in the Colin Baker years. Now, I won't bore you with what happened or who was involved and stuff like that, but let's just say that it had a real similarity between what happened with Saddam Hussein in Israel. Now, if George Bush had seen that episode, who knows? He might have had second thoughts about invading there. Maybe I think about things a bit too much, though. After all, it's only a TV programme, isn't it? I had my hair done. Do you like it? I thought I'd have a new style. I didn't quite know what to go for, so I booked an appointment, went along to the salon and asked them what they thought. They had all these ideas about oh, lots of autistic styles and I was really tempted. One of them actually looked like Carol Ann Ford's hairstyle. She was the first doctor's assistant between 1963 and... Do you like it? I am trying to get interested in other things. A friend of mine asked me to go away with him for a dirty weekend in the Peak District. Uh, it was a gynaecology weekend. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go though. Apparently you spend all your time on your hands and knees and you should see the state of his fingernails. He's always got dirt underneath those nails. <laughs> it's an interesting subject though. He showed me this um, belt buckle that they'd found on the last trip. They thought it might be from the Iron Age or something, and they sent it away for tests and everything. It turned out to be a, a, a soldier's belt buckle from the Second World War, though. Hmm. I was hoping to find something a bit more interesting next time. <laughs> Hello, my name's Laura. I like reading, books. Do you like Doctor Who? <laughs>